Well, hey, jammers, it is Wednesday, and uh, that means jam day. And even though we can't be live in um, a church in person, we can still get together via worship this way, cyber worship. I uh, put my microphone on here tonight down at church, so I thought maybe you could hear just a little bit better. Before we dive into our message here, I wanted to show you a, a couple things that um, I've been thinking about. Um, first of all, can you see, let's see you, see, you see that red candle right there, that red, that red light? I know that uh, Trinity has one on the altar too, and that light right there is called the eternal flame. Uh, that just means that Jesus' light never goes out. That's a light that we always leave on at church, and uh, it just reminds us of the light of Christ. And so I just wanted to remind you, too, that even though we aren't worshiping live and in person, and uh, the church, church lights might look a little dark, uh, maybe when you go by school, you know, that might look a little dark and stuff, too. But the light of Christ never goes out, okay? Something I was thinking about too, as we worship at home, you can get a candle out. It doesn't have to be a white one, but uh, even better if it is a white one that reminds us of holiness, it reminds us of, of Jesus, it reminds us of the Jesus candle. So put that in your worship space um, and light it. Light it every time you have a family worship, okay? I've got the candles on the altar lit here, um, and I may have to fill those up because uh, the flame is just a, a little bit down there because uh, we, haven't, we haven't had worship here. So um, I'm at the pulpit here because I, I want to read to you just a little bit. And uh, so tonight, families, you can get your Bibles out. We are in Mark's Gospel Chapter 12, Mark's Gospel, chapter 12, verses 28 through 34. That's the first part of our scripture sandwich. You know, we've been in the Gospel of Mark, and I've talked about the fact that Mark, Mark is so good at serving up a, a scripture sandwich, which just means we kind of have three stories in one. And this first story is what we're going to focus on tonight. The most important commandment, and, and you've heard this before. The thing is, the religious leaders are trying to trap Jesus with some questions. They're trying to trap Jesus with some questions. And so they ask him about uh, the commandments. Let me read this to you, okay? The most important commandment. One of the teachers of religious law was standing there listening to the debate. He realized that Jesus had answered well, and so he asked, of all the commandments, which is the most important? Jesus replied, the most important commandment is this, listen, O Israel, or hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one, the one and only God. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. The second, second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. No other commandment is greater than these. The teacher of the religious law replied, Well said, teacher, you have spoken the truth by saying that there is only one God and no other. And I know it is important to love him with all of my heart and all of my understanding and all of my strength and to love my neighbor as myself. This is more important than to offer all of the burnt offerings and sacrifices required in the law. Did you notice in there that you know when Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, and then love your neighbor as yourself, did you note that um, the person that was repeating it back said the same thing? They did that as a sign of the fact that they were listening. They were listening and they were understanding that. Kind of like we do at JAM. And so as we begin here, get your blesser up and repeat after me. 
Hey God, it's us kids. You're here, we're here. Tonight, we're gonna sing, we're gonna dance, we're gonna pray, we're gonna learn more about you. In Jesus' name, amen. See, that, that, that's a repeat after me, just like, just like they were doing in, in the scripture here. Re repeat after me, that's how we learn. So another thing I wanted to share with you is, and, and we've heard this before, is Jesus was quoting from the Old Testament. He was quoting from the book of Deuteronomy, which just means law. So if you'll turn to Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 through 9, that's called the Shema. We've heard that before at Jam. We've heard that before at Jam, and I just posted um, on my Facebook page a little YouTube video so you can try to say it in, in Hebrew. Okay, that might be kind of fun too. But here's what this says. It's one of my favorite scriptures. Listen or hear. Hear, O Israel. Listen up. Hear, O Israel. The Lord is our God, the Lord alone. And you must love the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your soul, and all of your strength. And you must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I'm giving you today. Repeat them, repeat them again and again to your children. Talk about them when you are at home and when you are on the road, when you are going to bed and when you are getting up. Tie them to your hands and wear them on your forehead as reminders Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. That has become just one of my most favorite scriptures. For the Jewish people, that is a central scripture in, in their life, the Shema. Let's say that, Shema, Shema. Hear, O Israel. Just means listen up here, L listen up. Um, and it also just means, you know, talk about the things of God. Talk about scripture when you're at home, which we are right now, right? We, we're at home. So be sure you're, you're talking about um, the things of God. Make sure you're making worship a part of your, your day. So I imagine you, you've had some questions about all of this stuff with um, this virus thing and, and how come you have to be off school and why do we have to be off jam and, and stuff. And it, I don't want you to be afraid, okay? I don't want you to be afraid because we're still getting together, aren't we? And we're, we're still praying together and we're still worshiping in a way and I know you're still learning stuff, even though you can't be at school. And I know that you can still talk to your friends via the phone and stuff like that. It's just, you know, sometimes like when you, you have a really bad cold or something, you don't want to share that with your friends. Um, and you don't want to get sick either with, with germs. Just be sure you're washing your hands a lot. Just like I told you last Wednesday, be sure you're washing your hands and you're not touching your your eyes or your nose. We shouldn't have our fingers in our nose anyway. Gross, right? And stuff. And, you know, just uh, make sure you're you're listening to your mom and, and, and dad. Okay? Listen to your mom and, and your dad. One thing I want you to, to see again here in the Mark, Mark 12, scoot on down to verse 34. Okay? Mark 12, verse 34. It says, realizing how much the man understood, Jesus said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to ask him any more questions. Pretty cool, huh? Just remember that you're never away from the kingdom of God, even though we can't be together in, in person, you're still God's kids. You're still jammers. And uh, you're still very much loved by God and, and by me. 
And so don't be fearful, okay? So music, even though we can't be together with music, you can pick out some YouTube songs. If you have a big family, you, you might uh, have to take turns picking your favorite song and maybe dancing, and, or maybe one of you could be song leader. Learn how to be some leaders, okay? Um, I want you to start doing the Lord's Prayer. Make sure you're doing the Lord's Prayer. And, uh, you know, you can go back and you can look at the Ten Commandments. You can listen to and learn the Apostles' Creed. Do some Bible digging, okay? Do some Bible digging and pray. I brought my brought my prayer book here, got my prayer book. Some of you big people have been messaging me prayers, and I appreciate that, and I've been um, messaging with you that way, and I've been praying with you over the internet that way too. So if you have some prayers, uh, be sure to let me know if you want me to share that prayer publicly, or if you just want me to pray that prayer by myself. Okay, because we, we don't want, um, if somebody doesn't want their prayer out there, then we won't do that. Okay, but uh, if you want more people to pray, I will certainly publish that. Okay, all right, you have a good night of, of worship, okay, and I will see you again soon. So get your blesser up and repeat after me. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord be gracious to you and shine on you with that big, with that big, with that really big smile and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye for now. Take care and sleep well. Jesus loves you, and so do I.